Hello, my pretties. It is Saturday. Quiet Saturday. Um, and I'm going to be doing my rundown today. Rundown of last month's products I received in my subscription bo boxes. So, before I get into that, let's get into the informational portion of this video. Hello, my pretties. For anyone who's new here, hi, I'm Gladys on this channel. I mainly do unboxings. And on Tuesdays, I do a get ready with me called a mime time because I'm silent during the makeup process. If you like me and my content, please do all those things YouTube would like you to do. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And if you don't, well, just move on to the next because Time is short. Life is short. All I ask is that you don't leave a nasty comment because no one's got time for that shit. And with that, let's get to it. Alright, usually when I do my rundown, I announce the start of, you know, this month's giveaway. Unfortunately, there will not be a giveaway this month chosen to skip you know i just want to relax i'm starting a new work schedule next week and i need to figure that out so that's why i am taking a break from the mystery giveaway for this month it will resume resume for august but sorry it's just about finding the time to, to do everything. But let's get into my uh, rundown. First, let's start with the items that I received. So from AIA Beauty Bundle, I received items from Lorella. Never tried this brand before. Pleasantly surprised. But I received the Vava Boom palette not my favorite color story hello pink but upon first impression these shimmers are amazing amazing the mattes are good as well they're not like the best, but they hold their own. But where it's at is in these shimmers. Yes, I did use all the pinks throughout the month. Um, I can tell you, besides this duochrome one right here, that's the most pink one of, of the group. The others are not so pink. Um, this silver is a glitter. No, just no. No, we all have that love-hate relationship with glitter. And, and um, that's going to just stay far away. The other item was their highlighter in Bougie. So nice. It is a silvery toned pink. Again, amazing pigmentation shine, but it is a sparkly. Kind of like a scattered glitter, if you know what I mean. But the shine was amazing. From my Boxy Lux, I received the NARS, uh, what is this? Matte, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Lipstick in Raw Seduction. You guys saw in my first impression, I hate the color. Hate it. Hate it. What else I received in that box? The Patrick Ta 
what is this called? The Major Lip Shine and She's Expensive. Eh. 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 This piece of shit from Rare Beauty, the Discovery Palette. Yeah. You'll see that at the end. And I did receive the Natasha Denona uh, Cupid palette. Uh, da, 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 da. Cupid Cheek Duo. This is a duplicate from myself, so I'm not going to review it. You don't even see it in the try-on because I already tried it and you know how, much, how I feel about it. From Boxy Charm. No, boxy premium. I got this Lorac palette. Amazing, beautiful. Oh god. This is the only one I say is worth the money. Amazing. But this is kind of what Lorac is. Is you know, the mattes are easy to blend, rich in color. The shimmers are blinding it's just the color story is just meh you know it's it's not my cup of tea again but i could pick this up at any point in the month and make a look be confident in this look and just feel like a bad bitch because i know it took minimal effort for an amazing look. I also received the Patrick Ta Major Volume Mascara. Not my favorite, will never be my favorite. Um, is it giving me major volume? No. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> and um, I would say middle of the pack as far as mascaras go. Weirdly, this one retails more than any other high-end mascara. Um, and it's not worth it. All right. And the last item, which I love, is from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Cream Blush in Warm Peach. You guys know how much I love a peach shadow. Um, not shadow. Blush. It just brings extra warmth to my face. Face. Face without throwing my color off. I hate a pink. Because I hate pink. Um, it's, it was really, really good. Really good. And from Ipsy. Only one item. The Seraphine uh, Berry Plus Juice 100% vegan lip gel this is kind of like a lip gloss lip oil hybrid which is so very nice it does provide a little bit of color but not too much like you could just throw this on and go gonna keep your lips nice and moisturized and shiny and just look juicy and it smells like candy. And then uh, I got the Trend Mood box, which the only thing I, makeup wise, I kept was the Keys Soul Care Lip Balm in Lucid, which is a clear. It's a lip balm. It's a lip balm. There, there's nothing magical about it. It's not worth the money. Packaging is cute. Um, but it's not worth the money. You can get a lip balm anywhere for any price. But yeah, I would say do that. Um, I also had one tool which was the keys uh 
Soul Care Natural Complexion Brush. Um, I did use this for the cream blush. Did provide extra pigmentation because this is very light. I have another brush similar to this, but it's not Keys, but this does help with the cream blush situation really nicely. Really nice. I like it a lot. But again, you can always find another brush just like this cheaper. So with that said, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Let's get on with the try on of this final look and have a good day.
right. What do you think? I think that I look it is me. It is like the best combo of neutral and color and shimmer. I don't like the lip. Okay, but let's review all the products. And I got quite a few. The soles, the keys, a soul care lip balm clear. It does a good job. It, it's lip balm. I mean, it's not a miracle worker. It's just a lip balm. Do I think it's worth the price that you're paying for it? No, because it's just a lip balm. You're paying for the name. Uh, this NARS. This, I don't like this. I don't like the color. Okay, this color is not for me. And while I love a matte lipstick, this lipstick doesn't have any glide. Like if I didn't put the lip balm on, it always feels so rough. Like I am tugging at my lips just to apply it. And I don't like that, okay? I don't like tugging. Okay? So, am I gonna use this again? Fuck no. Um, <laughs> uh uh. No. No. Um, if it wasn't a different color, you know, a darker color, more likely to, but I feel like the dryness of it will still be a factor, and then I'm not gonna like that. Of the two lip glosses, um, I'm gonna, this one from Seraphine, the, the vegan lip gel, I like this better than I like this. Applying this, it's kind of, again, on the dry side. You get some shimmer, but it's not, like, the most shimmery thing I've ever used on my lips. This is, feels so good. Gives you a little bit of extra color. I need that with this lipstick. But it also feels really nice and juicy but not goopy and gloppy. So I really like that one. Patrick Ta Mascara, it's okay. Again, is it worth the price? No. Um, do I think it's giving me volume? No. It's a light formula, leaves my lashes kind of light and fluffy but gives me some length. But it's not giving me fullness. It's just not. The Dominique Cosmetics Creme, Cream Blush and Warm Peach. I love her. I love her. I. Mm. It is a light coverage, right? But I used the Keys brush. And it gave me a little bit more, but not too much. Again, it gives me some warmth to the skin without getting darker. I like that. Um, this is really, really good. This is really nice. Uh, again, is it going to take the place of the M Cosmetics Serum Blush? No. I love that one. I love that it sets down. And it's like a powder finish that I love. I love it. But this is a close second. You know I love my peach. The Lorella highlighter. She's dusty, she, she kicks up, but she is amazing. For the price point of this, it is amazing. Do I wish that um, it wasn't, it's kind of like a glitter kind of thing. It's not, 
So it tends to move, you know. I may have put it here, but at the end of the day, it'll be down here. And on older skin, this kind of highlighter does not do so well. By the end of the day, it looks like I went to a strip club. Or I was trying to be someone I'm not and going to a festival, a music festival. Now, as far as these eyeshadow palettes go, hate this one with a passion. This does not show up on my skin at all. At least the, none of the mattes do. The dark brown one, I mean purple one, you get a little something. I've got a little liner with it, but no, I would not pay full price for this ever. It does not, the mattes, the pigmentation does not work for my skin. It's a shame because I love this purple. That, that glitter can go fuck itself. It, no, it is chunky. It is, it moves. Even with glitter glue, it moves. And, and I did get glitter in my eye and that felt terrible. This, I'm gonna say this is the worst product of the month because it, it, it does not deliver, it is shit. Okay, the NARS lipstick, because of how dry it is, is a second to, to bottle. The Lorella Va Va Boom palette, great pigmentation on the uh, matte shadows, easy to blend. The shimmers, wow. Wow. Not my favorite color story because of the pink, but... It's better than that rare beauty bullshit. And I'm going to say top one of the eyeshadows is the rock. Again, not my favorite color story with the nudes. But no matter what I do, I get a great, great look. All the mattes, easy easy peasy lemon squeezy easy to blend easy to smack on your face and just go the shimmers are amazing this is worth the 49 dollars. truly is okay you don't have to think about anything amazing so I would say this is the standout for the month. With that, what do you think of the final look? And have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.